Hey guys, good morning. So I've got another little trick for you. Now notice I'm not at the sewing machine today but because I, I wanted better workspace. I've already made up some samples to show you. But I've just been trying to think of things that you could do even at home if you don't have a machine. Um, so I brought my pair of jeans just to show you something because we all know about distressing, um, you know, taking things away. Now I had to fix mine because the threads across here were disappearing and I didn't want my leg to show. So I just put my patch in behind it and then I did a bunch of the just straight stitch. I lengthened it, but I used several different colors. And even up here on the little one, I did this. But that's really not what I wanted to show you. If you're wanting to do something to your jeans, and it's hard to get up inside those little legs. Let me show you guys the trick. Now, if your seam looks like this and it has the row of stitching, that's called a flat felled seam. And you don't want to mess with opening that up because it's got a couple of different layers and they're folded different directions. But look at the other seam of your leg. And if it's just a straight seam and doesn't have that double row, then I just took, so I didn't have to unhem the bottom, I just took my seam ripper and started right here and opened my seam up all the way to here so I could open this up and get to this real easy when I did this stitching. And then guess what? All I had to do was re-sew that side seam up. So there's an easy way of getting in that you could use today's technique because you need to be able to get to it flat. Oh, I don't want to cover up. Say hi, Bessie. Bessie and the kids. Um, and if you can't tell, I have a little bit of an obsession with cats. This is my wall of eclecticism and there is really no rhyme or reason for it. Here, I'll give you a little whoo. There's more stuff over there. There's really no rhyme or reason for it. It's just stuff I like. So anyway, what I'm gonna show you today is how to put a hole in something. And I don't mean just ripping it and cutting this funky wonky hole because anybody can do that, but we are fashion darlings and we're gonna do things correct. So I've already done these step by step because I thought it would take too long. So we're gonna pretend the gray is my t-shirt and I wanna put holes in it. Now I am gonna put something behind my holes. I have a little surprise. But we're gonna say the gray is my outer t-shirt. Then I just had another old t-shirt and I cut a square out of it. Now I do wanna put a perfectly round hole in my t-shirt. So start looking around your house for anything that's round. Um, I even took my Coke can and turned it upside down. Um, I put something in it, but just make sure you don't have Coke still in it and it's open when you do that, okay? Or you could use anything that's round. All right, oh, here, I wanna show you guys, it's sitting right here. Oh. My big honking pin cushion. If you didn't believe me that it was big, it is big. So anyway, what I did for the sample I'm gonna show you is I used the Coke can and I did turn it upside down and I traced around it on the red. So you're gonna put the red to the right side of the gray. And I have stitched around that circle with my machine. Now here's the thing guys, if you don't have a machine at home and you wanna do this, Use a hand sewing needle and thread. Do two, you know, do your thread and tie the knot in the two ends so it's thicker. And just do small in and out. It's called a running stitch all the way around that circle. Okay. So once I do this, I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it. All right. And I'm going to cut right in the middle of this. Now, the reason I do that is so I can get in here and I'm going to trim away all of this inside. Now, don't go cray cray and cut too close to your stitching 
because then when you do this next step, it's just gonna come undone. And why get all this trouble to have this really super cool, neat circle? All right, so I cut the middle out, all right? Next thing, carefully clip. You remember all those samples you did? Guys, this is why we take the time to do those samples so you learn some basic skills and techniques to make your other stuff look good. You don't wanna to cut too close because like I said, it'll come undone. But to do this next step, if you don't clip it, it's not gonna lay flat. Okay, so I've clipped all the way around my circle. Now, I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna turn it to the inside. So this is now the back side of my t-shirt and I've got my red. One thing I will tell you that I found out the first sample I did, don't cut the piece that you're gonna draw the circle on, don't cut it too small. We can cut this down later but if you cut it too small and you start trying to turn it like this, it's gonna make it really difficult because you wanna lay that down flat and then you're going to press it. And so see, now I have a perfect hole in my t-shirt. And I've already taken this one over and I've pressed it, okay? So then, I <laughs> You know, my little stash of fabric. I have my Christmas cat fabric. So who wouldn't want a black and white cat dressed like Santa poking out of your t-shirt? So you're gonna, and you can use anything. I had a floral print I was gonna use it and I just thought this, you guys would laugh and think, oh, Mrs. Lloyd. So cut whatever you're going to have peeping through your circle, cut it bigger than your circle because you're gonna take it and you're gonna take the circle that you've already pressed and you're gonna center it up over your design, okay? Then, here's the finished one. Aren't they precious? <laughs> anyway, I use the inside edge of my toe of my presser foot, not my foot foot, and I ran it around and I have top stitched around my circle to hold those together. And then I flipped it over to the back side and now I've trimmed everything down. You know, this is cotton, it'll fray a little bit. Um, if I was really worried about it, I could use fray check, but you know, it's not gonna be something I wear a whole lot. But could you imagine doing a row of circles down the front of the leg of your jean and putting a different print behind each circle, doing different sizes of circles. Um, you can tell, this was the one I did with the Coke can. The other ones, I used the roll of vinyl, and so it's a little smaller. So you know, you could do different sizes and have that come down. If you wanted to, you could make that a square. Now, if you make a square, be sure you clip up into the corners. So, I'll draw it on the black, the gray real quick and we'll see. And no, this is not a great square, but see the square? Cut the middle out, but you wanna clip diagonally. Can you see that? diagonally into the corners um, so when you turn it to the right or to the wrong side and then try to press it, it will lay down. So for today, your challenge, do a circle. Find a couple of t-shirts, find an old pair of jeans, find something and then put something else behind it. So that is your Sewing with Mama Lloyd adventure for today. I'll see you next time.